So my first full week of being an iPhone owner has come and gone, and I have a lot of thoughts. Uh, I, I've learned some things, uh, not everything I thought I would learn, uh, and I've uh, enjoyed some things. I'm going to talk a little bit about all of those things right after this. This, this is, uh, you know you listening to, to Travis. What up, players? Welcome back, and for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis, and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. If that sounds like fun to you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below, but for now, let's just get into the video. So my first week is up, and after my big switch from a Galaxy Note 10 Plus to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the expensive one, I have a lot of thoughts. Most of them are good. There are a couple of things that I don't like, so I'll just start off with those. Number one, what the heck is up with the mess on the front page? Like, you can't move icons anywhere. I've known this going into it, but it became much more annoying as I started to use the phone on a regular basis. I can't have like a blank screen. It's always gotta be apps every single where. There's no app drawer. I don't know why Apple insists on this. It's like an OCD nightmare. It's really terrible. Now you can put folders and put things inside those folders, but you still have icons all over the damn desktop. It's killing me. So definitely not a fan of that. It really is incredibly annoying. I also feel kind of lost when I first swipe up and log in, uh, trying to look for my notifications because normally what I would be able to do on Android is just swipe down from the middle no matter where it was and my uh, notification shade comes down. But when you do that, the search comes down. It's not the same thing. So you actually have to go up to the top and then swipe down to get the notification shade. Not a big fan of that. I wish they would switch it around, at least give you the option. If there is an option, let me know in the comments below. Finally, and I didn't know this would be a big deal, but no notification light and no always on display are really, really annoying. Like how the heck am I supposed to know if I'm missing a message? I have to go over to the phone, tap it, whatever. With all of my other Android phones, all you had to do was look over. Have it, it had a, a notification light, you would know there. Or if it had always on display, you would know there. This, you look, look at this, it's black. You don't know what's happening. There might be a 911 emergency on here. I mean, I don't think anyone's calling 911 to me. That would be that would be a mistake. And I'm not super happy about any of those particular things, especially for as much money as I've spent. Now, I could totally say that the worst thing about this thing was the price, and that it definitely is 100% still the case. Uh, I also don't like the notch. I think it's ridiculous. Although they do a really good job of hiding it through um, wallpapers and the video never really stretching all the way. So they, they do hide it very well, but uh, I, you know, they got, we gotta get over that. Having said that, everything else has been remarkable, like incredible. I love this thing. It's been phenomenal. The number one thing that's my takeaway from this is the battery life is unmatched. And battery life is super important. Let's be honest. If your phone doesn't work because the battery is dead, no matter what tricks it has, it really is irrelevant and this thing can last. I did two different experiments and I was blown away by both. The first, I removed this from my charger at 8 a.m. on Sunday morning, and I didn't put it back on until, <laughs> and this absolutely just blows my mind, Monday night at 8 p.m. and I still had 19%. It did not hit the charger overnight. I was able to go two full days on one charge. I don't even know what to say about that. And while I wasn't using it every single minute, I wasn't getting like 20 hours of screen on time. That's not the way I use my phone. I did try something else, which still showed that the battery on this thing is amazing. A day later, after I had fully charged it up, uh, I used all my normal streaming stuff. And then I went on a trip where I used my GPS for 30, 34 minutes or so straight, where the screen is on, it's doing GPS, showing me maps, telling me what's going on. Plus I was streaming Sirius XM at the same exact time for just under 40 minutes and it had 85% afterwards. And that's after being on for seven and a half hours. I have literally never come across any phone that would be able to do those things after seven and a half hours, be at 85%, streaming left, right, and center. So of course, I didn't even mention, I was using it for social media and texts and messages and calls and have so much battery left. That night, 69% <laughs> when I put it back on the charger. So Apple has figured it out. And to me, the battleground next year in 2020 for smartphones will be battery life. You gotta come get some, this is the master. And then there's just really cool things about the operating system that I've never really known about. Um, of course, the setup I've always talked about, but like the, the, the integration of remembering your old passwords and I, I don't know, like everything is so simple. It's like Apple really thinks about the 90% the of the you're gonna use your phone on. And that's what I was talking about. 
The 90% you use your phone for is what Apple seems to be optimizing for, and I think that's the right strategy. There's even an option where if you're in your home and you're on Wi-Fi and someone else has an iPhone and they wanna get on your Wi-Fi, that you can actually help them get on Wi-Fi just by using your phone without telling them. It'll push the password to them. What? So yes, I am absolutely over the moon for this thing, but you know, you can't just have this butt naked uh, raw dog out here. You're gonna drop this thing and break it. So I got a couple things and some accessories for it that I think are pretty cool. You know, if you're going with that expensive life, you might as well get yourself a good, pure Horween case, baby. That's right, I said Horween. Shout out to Nomad for sending over this case and a couple other things. Man, this thing keeps it super safe and covered in leather, baby. If you want it, link in the description below. This thing really is phenomenal. It fits perfectly, the buttons are flush. It just feels so good in the hands, ladies. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not stealing Flossie's thing. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. But it's a great feeling case on a great phone. If you're gonna have a really expensive phone, you're gonna want something to, to you know, protect it that looks real nice. And this thing, this is it. This is it, man, this is it. Whenever I go on trips, I don't like to take my only charging cable with me. I like to have extras. So Nomad actually sent over some pretty cool cables. This one is a USB-C to lightning uh, cable, which if you plug it into the right adapter, which I have tons of, will give you fast charge. That's all you need, by the way, uh, USB-C to lightning to get your fast charge. And this one's great with a, a really great build quality. Um, I've been playing around with it quite a bit and I get the same fast charging out of it. It's really fantastic. But if you're gonna get one, this is the one to get. This has an integrated battery. This is the coolest thing ever, let me show you. So not only does it have a USB on one side to plug into your wall, wall adapter, and of course your lightning cable on this side, in the middle is a battery. So while you're plugging it in and charging your phone, you're also charging the battery. So that when you leave, say the hotel or whatever, you can still charge your phone with just this. This is innovation. I love this. Nomad, shout out to you. So make sure you pick this up. This is really an amazing and really great idea for when you're on the road and you don't have something to plug into. You, you have, this is basically taking your normal battery brick that you'll carry around with you and just putting it into the cable that you have to bring anyway. So at the end of the day, people were thinking that I was gonna be bored of this thing and I'm not, not even close. I really, really, really enjoy this phone. It actually now has become a thing where next year in 2020, when the new Android phones, phones come out, they have to win me back. I never would have thought that. Um, they, uh, last year in 2018, uh, Apple came close to getting me to switch, but they didn't do it. This year they were able to do it. It might be hard to go back, but Samsung, you, got, you know the battle plan now. Great camera, great battery, great integration. Give me the 120 Hertz uh, screen. Give me all those things and I'll come right back. But for everyone else out there, what do you think? If you have an iPhone, tell me below, what is your favorite accessory for it? Uh, and then we'll talk about it. But I think Nomad's got it on lock, man. Nomad is in it. If this video helped you out in any way, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. And if it didn't, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I'm here every single week having a blast. Hope to see you again real soon. Peace and love. Peace and love. All right, baby.